everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with the brand new Ravel Tales Series 2 Sparklers. I want to thank the company so much for sending this to me for free to open up with you guys. If you guys remember, we opened Ravel Tales Series 1 on this channel and we absolutely loved it. I think it's such a fun project, fun toy. Anyway, let's go ahead all over the box and check it out. So we have Sparkle Surprise inside. We get the usual, we get the little plush, which is usually last, we get this ball of yarn and some charms and some fabric and all this stuff to make all these different crafts. And then it says our story on the back. We are the sparkly pets in the yarn basket. With our shimmer and glimmer, we love hanging out in our inner sewing circles. When we secretly venture out on new adventures, we need to make sure our glitz doesn't give us away. And then this is what this includes, this whole inside here. We got one plush pet, 21, feet of thick yarn, um, eight feet of thin yarn, plastic sewing needle, pet name tag, pad halves, play instruction manual, and collector's leaflet. There's a lot in here. And then these are all of the friends that we can collect. There's so many cute ones. I love them all. I don't even know which one I want the most. I definitely love the little seal and this little fox and even this little deer. I just, I think those are my top three, but they're all so cute. Like this one's patterns are adorable. I'm really excited. I love the sparkle theme of this one. So let's go ahead and check out our ball of yarn inside and see if we can get started here. Oh, looks like we are stuck on these sides too but I love this craft it's so fun I wonder if we're gonna have different things to do in this one versus what we did in the first series I'm not sure but anyway we definitely have some different yarn as you can see it's sparkly look at that it looks like it has some tinsel in it so let's see this che checklist first um, we have all of the ones we can collect it looks like this one right here super rare oh and the seal is super rare too. oh no 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 you can get a regular one but there's also a super rare one that's interesting I love that but so cute I love this love it all right so let's look at this little craft booklet basically so this is for the pet bed which is the same we've done the pet bed before um, we have the friendship bracelet the pet collar we've kind of done those before as well um, so it looks like it's basically the same crafts, but still love it. Um, we have ourselves a little ruler down at the bottom. I love that. It's always such a nice touch. So basically we go in layers. So this is the bed filler, this stuff here, and this, this yarn. Um, let's go ahead and take this tag off that says bed filler and we'll put it off to the side. It's stuck on me. Uh, but we have our little needle as well and we just got to unravel this. Let's go ahead and try to do this. <laughs> it's rolling everywhere, so no guarantees. Ooh. All right. So, looks like, oh, 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 it's rolling away. <laughs> All right, it looks like we're nearing the other parts here. It looks like we have some of the thin yarn here. Cool. All right, so this is our next layer. So we're not gonna really do anything with that yet. Technically you could, if you didn't wanna make the bed, you could totally braid this into something or crochet it into something. Um, but here is some other yarn. We got three different colors and they are individual strands, as you can see. I'm gonna kinda of keep them grouped together for now. And unravel, we're almost to our pet. Um, let's get this last little bit. Oh my gosh, surprise! We have our pet. So this string here is specifically for the bracelet, the pet collar, and the sew, if, to sew the bed. So cute. Who do we have here? She has such a little floofy tail. Is she like a little bunny? She kind of looks like a little bunny. I love her sequin tummy, or her sparkly tummy, and sparkly feet and sparkly on the inside of the ears and her hair is yarn but it also has tinsel in it, it's really cute. She does have embroidered features and her fur, her regular pattern here, is a very unique type of fur. Um, I always say this is like couch fabric or like <laughs> curtain fabric. Um, it's like a, somebody told me what it was, like a, oh, I don't remember what it is though, like a satin? or something. I don't remember. I'm sorry guys, but it is like, it's kind of like, you know, smooth when you go this way, but then kind of furry when you go this way, but it's really smooth and pretty. And then we have a little yarn ball here. I love this. It's so cute. But let's see who we got. What's her name? 
Mm, it looks like maybe bobble. I think it's bobble. So cute though. I want all of these. You know, we also, oopsies, we got this little, oh, there's her name tag, bobble. It says it on there. That's really cute. All right, so we did get the pet bed and I love it. <laughs> I love this fabric right here. So pretty. Obviously, this is her fabric right here. It is the exact fabric too. It feels exactly the same. And it's, this is what's on her tummy basically. I love this. So what we would do if we were doing this craft, I mean, obviously you get a booklet so you can kind of do whatever, but you're going to sew this all together. And then right before you sew it completely shut, you're going to fill it with this stuff. And I think we're going to go ahead and do that craft. Maybe I think we'll do that. We'll make her pet bed. Um, and then we will see how it goes from there. So I think the blue one was for the pet bed, the blue string of yarn. So we're going to go ahead and try to untangle it from here. I, uh, don't want to get it all tangled up, but we will get it all untangled. And then I will jump into sewing the pet bed together, following the instructions on the instruction booklet. So it should be very easy. It's nice and step by step. We can go through it together. So let's see, let's take a little look see at it. So it says thread yarn into the plastic needle, which is very easy to do. I probably should take this little tag off though. I really love this yarn. It's nice and thin and it also has the tinsel on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this just to make sure it doesn't fall off. Um, step two is match up two halves of the pet bed, which we've done. Then leave some extra length of yarn at the start and begin sewing using under and over stitch to sew the pet bed together. So just like this. And then we're going to end up like that. So, so, <laughs> literally. All right, let's start from under, I guess. And let's go, not all the way, like it said, we got to leave a little tail, basically. Anyway, I'm going to kind of speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through the whole thing. <laughs> and we'll I'll come back, I'll come back to you guys when we are at the, oh, I'm punching the lights, at the beginning where we started. Alright you guys, I ended up sewing this all together. I ended up sewing it all together <laughs> and I forgot I needed to fill it so I had to undo it a little bit. But let's go ahead and stuff this bed and finish this up. So once we stuff the bed, um, we complete the sewing and then we tie a bow. Whoops. We tie a bow with the blue string that we used. So. Let's go ahead and finish this off. We only have three more holes. So let's go ahead and get our needle. And I'm just gonna line it up here and then pull it all the way through. Whoops, I think I did that wrong. Oh well. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a bow. So it's just like this. And then we'll end up cutting it. But perfect. And then there's other ways you can finish it off too. Uh, but that's the way it says in the instructions. And then there we go. We have ourselves a little bed for our little friend. So cute. And then like I said, we have so many other activities to do. We can make ourselves a friendship bracelet and a pet collar. And they can be done pretty much in almost the exact same way. But there are step-by-step -step instructions. And that is it. That's so exciting. I always loved these Ravel Tales since there's so much fun stuff to be done. I'm so excited and I definitely want to collect more, especially of this series. 
But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you go check out some of my other YouTube channels. You can find me on Oak Cluck Games, which is my gaming channel, Carolina Wild Harvest, which is my gardening channel, and Oak Cluck, which is my vlog channel. I'll be linking all of those down below in the description box. Make sure you go click those links, head on over, subscribe, leave some comments. I'd love to have you over there. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.